All right, so the next step is to flesh the muskrat. There's very little fleshing to actually do on a muskrat, but it does need to be done. So this is just, this is a special board. The only thing I use this board for is fleshing muskrats. So I just kind of cut it at an angle that I liked and it kind of fits, fits the way I do things. It's not attached to anything. It's just a board, just leaning it against my bench. So uh, the best way to do this is take your muskrat and put, slide it on your beam with the arms to the side. So here's an arm. Here's the other arm. Put your arms on your side. So now it's all sitting on there, right? Okay. So what I'm using for my uh, flesh or for fleshing is just this little hand scraper. It's not real sharp. You can use uh, multiple different things. Uh, so here there's this thing called a saddle on a muskrat. The muscle, the membrane, muscle membrane right underneath the arm is called a saddle. You don't want to remove that, but I'm going to start right below that. There's a little bit of fat on top of it. I'm just going to scrape that fat off that's on top of it, just down a little way so when it flips over, it's not in the way. <clears throat> but we'll start at the head. Any chunks of cheek meat that are on there, scrape off, and then around, around the arm. Uh, you're going to want to go around the arm is where all the fat is. So in this saddle, when it's folded up, you can see it underneath, there's a bunch of fat underneath the saddle. So I like to just come in here and just, just scrape kind of in a U shape and get the fat out from underneath that saddle. If you have to remove the hang, the loose chunk of saddle, go for it, but remove as little as possible. So now that I've got the fat out from underneath that saddle, I just scrape that down. I took a little bit of the saddle with me, which is no big deal, but you can see there's still a little bit left here. That'll get rolled up and then, uh, it'll look real nice when we, we put it on the stretcher. So don't worry about that. The, the red membrane will dry. The fat will not dry that much. So then there's not much in the open area here until you get back down to the bottom. And just be careful, careful. There's a couple nipples down there at the bottom that you don't want to rip open. So I don't work the edges on this board. I'm just working the flat surface. So this side's clean. Now instead of, instead of moving the whole muskrat, I just flip my board over and I do the same thing. I'm going to come right by the saddle, work off any of that fat that's on top of the saddle, work that down a little bit, and then come back up here, get the cheek meat, get this fat around the arm. And I'm, I'm pulling with my right hand, I'm putting pressure with my left. It doesn't take very much pressure, so just a light little bit of pressure will get the job done. But that's how I uh, hold it with this. If you're gonna be doing a lot of muskrats, I definitely recommend getting a board like this and a flesher, or a scraper like this. So now we came off, we took the fat out of the saddle. So I can roll that back up and then I just come back down here by the leg. Again, remember, right here's, here's the butthole. There's four nipples up here. Uh, depending on your muskrat, they might be bigger. You can rip them out, so be careful there and just pull that right off the edge. So now both, both sides are clean. I take it and I rotate it a quarter turn. So now we've got the belly on one side and the back on the other. So now when I'm coming, there's a little bit of a meaty membrane right here. It's not real important, but if it is thick, get it off. And then come down here, past the four nipples and just scrape on either side of the, the butthole here. Now, you, you want to get down in here and get out as much fat in this area as you can because when you pin this on the board, it might tend to curl depending on how you do it. So you want to be able to get this nice and clean here. So I just pulled a nice big chunk of fat out of there. Just be careful, you don't want to rip, rip it off. If you need to, you can come back through later when you boarded it and cut off a little bit yet. So I'm getting, I've got it mostly clean now. There's the little bit underneath the, where the intestine was for the butthole that connects to the butthole. But otherwise the edges and beside on both sides of it are nice and clean. So now we just flip to the back. There should, should not be much on here. There's seeing, there's a little clump right here. Uh, just pull it off and nothing to it. So now fleshing is done. 
It's that simple, onto the boarding. 